conflict in the form of exchange of ideas and information, what researchers call task conflict, or is sometimes called debate or discussion, is essential for teams to achieve high potential. After all, that's the exact point of a high-performance team, to outperform the individuals within the team so that everybody wins by being a part of the team. Unfortunately, we've all experienced where exchange of ideas in a team slips into something from being task-related and starts to turn into negative affect, I hate you. This is distracting from the task at hand and leads to unproductive behavior in teams. Or does it? My research shows that personal disliking or relationship conflict does not predict poor performance in teams. Rather, what we show is that when a team performs poorly, we start to blame each other for the team failure. In other words, the cause and effect of relationship conflict and poor team performance runs the opposite way to what most people expect. The real cause of poor performance in teams is coordination, or trouble coordinating the team's resources. For example, when you ask me to do something for the team and I do it badly, is this my fault for not following instructions or your fault for giving me poor instructions? The truth is that it's both our fault. It's a group level problem rather than a one person problem. The communication failed. However, we love to blame each other. And when the other person does not accept the blame we assign to them, we start to dislike them. So what this means is that we can intervene to focus the group on communication rather than blaming each other. And in a recent paper, we show that when there are observers in the group who are not a part of the argument versus when everybody has a position, having that neutral person makes it more likely someone will focus the group on communication rather than blame, resulting in significantly better team performance. So the main message of my research is to resist the urge to hold individuals to account when the team fails. Instead, focus on how the team is working together, and equally importantly, not to overfocus on the relationship between teammates who dislike each other. If you can get the team functioning well with some positive feedback, the negative relationships are likely to improve as well.